Well, I know it seems a little odd to be talking college basketball just as the head-to-head -head competition begins in the Big 12 Conference football race. And I don't know about you, but I did a double take, could not believe what I was hearing when the coaches announced their preseason hoops poll. Most people who follow the sport believe that K-State has won, say, uh, maybe three or four teams. It could be pretty good this year. I'm sorry, but in all due respect to Frank Martin, there is no way this K-State team is a runaway winner with the league crown. No way. How in the world can you pick K-State in a landslide over six-time defending champion Kansas? The Cats get 10 first-place votes. Jayhawks only two. Ha uh ah. -uh. No, it won't fly. Even without Josh Selby, the Jayhawks own this conference until somebody can take it away from them. And I'm not sure K-State should even be the favorite. And how about the snub job on Missouri? Fifth place in the league? I don't think so. The Tigers have their top three scorers returning, and Mike Anderson's team deserves to be mentioned among the top three teams in the league. Baylor should be pretty good if Lacedarius Dunn doesn't get jail time for reportedly breaking his girlfriend's jaw. And let's see how this one plays out without Dunn. Baylor is pretty much done as a team that could compete in the title race. No one disappeared faster on the face of the college basketball landscape than the Oklahoma Sooners. Wow! The Sooners, once a perennial conference favorite, are picked to finish next to last. And that's a long, hard fall from respectability. We in the media are accused of going off half-baked at times because I promise you, after looking at this preseason basketball poll, the coaches have spent way too much time this summer on the Hawaiian Islands sipping Mai Tais and those other foo-foo drinks. Bottom line, this coach's poll does not make sense. That's Jack Smack.